In Fairbanks, Alaska, with a population of about 30,000, the World Eskimo Indian Olympics is a big event. It celebrates the skills and culture that helped the native population survive in harsh conditions for thousands of years. During opening ceremonies, a seal oil lamp was lit, similar to the ceremonial Olympic flame. I'm Athabaskan, Koyakin, Klinka, and Cherokee. And I've grown up around the Native Games. My third or fourth time on the blanket. I also complete, compete in um, bench reach and Indian stick pull as well as grease pull walk and ear pull. The scissor broad jump tests the skill needed when jumping on ice floes. Greased pole walk mimics the balance challenge of crossing a creek on a slippery log. Alaskan hiking, one of the most challenging events, goes back to the Inuit signal system. The ear pull's goal is to test the athlete's endurance for pain. And four-man carry is a test of strength that mimics a hunter carrying a heavy load for a long distance. Sean Hawkins has competed in the event for 10 years, but he got his first win this year. He carried four men weighing a total of 272 kilograms for 56 meters. I'm happy, but I'm, I'm super shocked. Eskimo Indian Olympics is an event that's been created to ex to celebrate and to enjoy the long winter months that we've had so that we can come together, not only talk about how we've done as individuals, but to kind of show like how well we've kept in shape, especially when they're from places with no gyms, no other opportunities to work out. And a lot of these games allow people the opportunity to survive in life and death situations. In the one hand reach contest, an athlete needs to show incredible strength and focus balancing on the palm or knuckles of one hand while reaching for a ball that is raised higher in each round. This year, Bernard Clark couldn't beat his own record of 180 centimeters. I did on my knuckles, and then 72, I just, uh, at that point, you know, you start to fatigue. Some of the more unusual sports events are eating muktuk or whale blubber and dressing a fish. For that contest, participants need to bring their own ulu, a traditional knife. Well, it's about tradition, because mostly um, we're a community, and as a community you want to lift each other up. And basically the main purpose of the games was to also lift each other up, because um, you don't want a fellow hunter to not beat their family, because then they could starve. There are no losers in this event, and those who didn't win were allowed to take the fish home for dinner. Well, the goal of the games really are to test your skills because uh, oftentimes when you're out at fish camp and you're, you're harvesting s uh, salmon, you get hundreds at a time and you do need to be quick. And so I would say like my competition style cutting is not the same style cutting that I would do at fish camp. The first day's contests lasting almost until midnight, mainly due to the native dance performances that the audience happily joined. Natasha Mosgovaya, VOA News, Fairbanks, Alaska.